वेज फ्रिक्शन अ वेज इज अ ट्रपिजॉयडल और ट्राइंगुलर शेप्ड टूल विच इज जनरली यूज टू लिफ्ट हेवी वेट्स फॉर एडजस्टिंग पोजिशन ऑफ अ बॉडी एक्सेट्रा दे हैव एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन एंड आर ऑफ वेरी स्मॉल वेट कंपेयर टू द वेट विच इज लिफ्टेड हेंस we generally neglect the weight of the wedge let us now draw the free body diagram showing all the forces and reactions when a wedge is placed on the ground in order to lift an object there will be a reaction acting on it by the ground which is r3 when it is pushed with a force p a frictional force will be acting opposite to the direction of p that is mu 3 r 3 due to the weight of the lifted body a reaction r 2 is acting on the wedge because of the sliding up of the weight a frictional force mu 2 r 2 will be acting opposite to the direction of motion now a reaction r 1 is acting on the body due to the vertical support provided also due to the sliding up there is a relative motion between the weight and the vertical support therefore a frictional force equal to mu1 r1 will be acting at that contact surface and its direction will be downwards that is opposite to the motion of the weight so these are the reactions and the forces acting on the wedge as well as on the lifted body now consider the equilibrium of the body resolving the vertical forces we can write r2 cos alpha minus w minus mu1 r1 minus mu2 r2 sin alpha equal to 0 mark it as equation number 1 now resolving horizontally we can write r1 minus mu2 r2 cos alpha minus R two sine alpha equal to zero. Mark it as second equation. Now for the equilibrium of the wedge, resolving horizontally, we can write mu three R three minus p plus mu two R two cos alpha plus R two sine alpha equal to zero. Mark it as third equation. Now resolving vertically, we can write R three minus R two cos alpha plus mu two R two sine alpha equal to zero. This will be the fourth equation. Now, from all these equations, we can obtain the values of all the reactions.